In this video, we're going to show you how to change the pins and bushes in your mini excavator. So here we have a Kubota KX015-4 from Humberside Plant, which as you can see, with less than a thousand hours, there is already quite a lot of play within this pin and bush setup. Keep watching this video because we've got the solution for you. So the first step doesn't include the digger at all. The first step is to actually put these bushes in the freezer. This will help contract the bushes ready for fitting back into the arm once you've got the old ones out. The next step is actually to remove your old pins and your old bushes. There's a few different methods to doing this, including burning them out with a gas axe or welding an attachment to them. And there's also a specialist tools. However, in this video, we're gonna show you how to do it with simple tools, which most DIYers have and that's a rotary tool and a cheap die grinder set which can be bought for less than £10 off Amazon or eBay. The next step is to actually clean around the bush using a wire wheel attachment in the rotary tool. This just helps see what you're doing so you can differentiate the bush from the dipper arm. As usual, we recommend wearing safety glasses as well as other PPE as these tools can release dust and shards while using. Next, we're going to cut a notch in the bush. This helps it spring together, just giving it enough room that you can knock it out. I'm just going to use the rotary tool again with a die grinder cut a bit bought from Amazon or eBay. So now you've hammered the bush out, just repeat the steps on the other side. Once you've got your old bushes out, all you need to do is get your new bushes out of the freezer and hammer them straight in. The best tool to use is either a copper and hide hammer, or if you don't have one of these, just use a piece of wood over the end of the bush just to protect the bush from damage or mushrooming, making them even harder to get in. Now the bushes are fitted to the arm, all you need to do is replace your pins. Now they've been replaced, you can see there is little to no movement on these pins whatsoever. If you want to see more tips, tricks and how-to guides, click here to subscribe to the Rhinox YouTube channel.